Well, I grew up in a time uh, where there were lots of movies where the kids were the smart ones, the kids were the heroes, the kids figured things out, and the parents, the adults, lacked wisdom. They just, just didn't get it. And, and kids were lifted up as, as these sages of great wisdom at 13 or 14 years old. I've grown since then, and I've realized that that's not a real accurate picture of the world. And, uh, and not just because I'm older, but because I have a, a fresher perspective on the world. I want you to listen to these words from Proverbs 6, verses 20 through 23. And I want to give you an invitation to, to learn from wisdom and to learn from the past. Be willing to look back and look through the eyes of those who've walked more through life and learn from them. Proverbs 6, beginning in verse 20, says this. My son, that's my child, my son or my daughter, keep your father's command. Do not forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them always on your heart. Fasten them around your neck. Boy, keep them close to you. When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. For this command is a lamp, this teaching is a light, and correction and instruction are the way of life. There is something about the wisdom of someone who's been further down the road, somebody who knows biblical godly wisdom and imparts that to others. I've had a handful of people in my life who have been those kind of people who just seem to, every time I interact with them, they speak wisdom, they speak truth. They know the word of God. They've lived it out. They've lived a life of wisdom. They've made their mistakes along the way and are willing to share things that, are, that help me and others grow in wisdom. And so here's the encouragement. Seek godly wisdom. Do you have people around you who speak wisdom to you? Or, or do you have this idea that, that you've got it all figured out? You're 13 or 15 or 25 or 50 and you think you got it all figured out. And understand that you don't. God can bring wisdom to you through other people. And then this passage talks about internalizing that truth. Go to the Word of God, listen to wisdom, make it part of your soul, then let it guide you. If you need direction, let God's Word that's been sifted through the lives of real people become a guide for your life. And then the passage says it becomes a lamp and a light. In our dark world, if you want a lamp, light for your path, and a life that's illuminated by God's presence, seek wisdom when you can find people who have walked with Jesus who know his word and who walk in wisdom, stay close on their heels and learn from them. God, this is our prayer, that we would be people of wisdom. And we ask that you would put just one or two or three people around us who are further down the road, who know you, who know your wisdom, who love your word, who've internalized it and lived it and through their own bumps and bruises have found a great way to live and let us learn from them so we don't have to repeat those same mistakes. Help us grow in wisdom this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, blessings on you. Have a great rest of your week. And I encourage you, as I always do, be with God's people for worship as often as you can. Gather with God's people. It's, it's, that's a place, a source of wisdom for you. Learn God's word in community and encourage one another. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.